once you've got that figured out. Once you're capable of understanding that how broken the game is, it's really easy to disengage from any need to sit there and perpetuate the game. I agree with you on that point. Brain outside of your skull, asshole? I certainly wouldn't want to be. You call me an asshole, but I agree with you. Why would you do that? Because you... Yeah, I do that because you're behaving like an asshole. Your comments are covered and littered in, in pukish personal attacks. Um, yeah, you're a stupid motherfucking asshole. All right, and that's why I can't deal with you. That's why I can't I can't like you. It's because you're you're a petty fucking asshole. If I commented about you the way you comment about me, you wouldn't like it, fucker. Want to make enemies instead of uh, allies? I guess. You want to get yeah, well, like I said, I'm all for allying on any one of these issues. I have channels devoted to them. I have videos devoted to them. I don't see you supporting it in any real way. So I guess you're not you're not being ally either. You're not blocked any of those channels. What the fuck good are you doing them? Any? No. Did they yell less when you're 25 years nope. old? I certainly don't want that lottery ticket. Don't you want to maybe fall in love? Oh, whatever. I just said I don't want that lottery ticket. That means the prize of falling in love and having a perfect picket fence life where we live until we get cancer and slowly die or get Alzheimer's or something or whatever other horror or a hurricane blows our picket fence through the living room window and impales it into my wife's neck. Um, yeah, no matter how it works out... Um, yeah, when I say I wouldn't want that lottery ticket, what I'm saying is, yeah, I don't want the prize, okay, um, at that expense, at that risk. It's pretty. It's kind of a clear argument. Do you want to maybe uh, enjoy the company of other people? Yeah, not if there's a chance I'm going to get ALS. No, I'd rather not have their fucking company if I get a immunity card, a get-out-of-jail-free card... Then I'll play, but until then, fuck it. Don't you want to maybe just lighten up and uh, try? Yeah, lighten up. Everybody's been doing that. Lighten, lighten up, dude. You know, <laughs> chill, baby. Uh, yeah, that solves all the pro. That's how this is. That's how we incrementally get to a better future. Is we all get chilly and comfortable and light, okay? Because that's always what motivates people. You know, when you're chill and light. Uh, yeah, that's when you're the most motivated, and that's when you can do your most, your, most of your good work, is when you're chill. Yeah, that's when you're really productive, is when you're chill. Fuck. And help somebody rather than bitching about everybody else's? Yeah, right. So, so somebody's talking about, plug up the hole in the sewage plant pipe! Plug up the hole in the sewage plant pipe! And you're just saying to that person, no. No, mop up the sewage. Mop up the sewage. Mop up the sewage. Well, why would you say that to the guy saying plug up the fucking hole? All right? He's trying to plug the hole up. He's trying to prevent the sewage from getting on the floor. And you're nagging him to mop up the sewage? Well, guess what? <laughs> In that circumstance, somebody's a retard and somebody's smart. Uh, you can choose which one you want to label, but I'm just saying, it's pretty goddamn dumb to chase the symptoms when the goddamn source of the disease is right the fuck in front of us. Uh, living their lives? Maybe? Uh, so fuck it. Yeah, whatever. I, I, again, you can live your life um, passively, uh, do no harm. You can, you can do the do no harm way of living your life. Or you can live your life like a reckless, brainless DNA molecule. You. Why don't you actually go and uh, help somebody? Oh, why don't you go blow your fucking penis off? <laughs> you know, buy yourself a bunch of fire illegal fireworks and just blow your dick off. And just shut up. <laughs> yeah. You're just bitching about everybody else. And then you can shove your dick up your ass. But the analogy fits... Do you really think that you're helping people by calling me all kinds of names later? Well, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Like I said, you, you are the one impugning somebody's character, impugning their education, impugning their knowledge base, impugning all of these things in your, in your cheap rhetoric. And then you'll gripe because somebody calls you an asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else to say to that. Fuck you, silly person. You're in this video? I haven't counter-argued it. 
All you've done is as you always do. You've simplistically just said, I'm not going to deal with that argument. Well, you, you never oversimplify, Gary, do you? Ever. You would never do that. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, that's right. I would never just say, believe me. Trust this book I read. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that kind of shit. I make a fucking argument. I'm just going to say fail and pretend I got away with it. Well, your your analogy failed. Your analogy failed. I, you're, you want to compare procreation to drunk driving. Well, drunk driving is socially unacceptable. It's illegal because you're operating a dangerous piece of equipment while your brain is impaired. Well, we've already been over this, but God damn it. Uh, your penis is a dangerous piece of equipment. All right, your spermozolia, um, okay, can create uh, Frankensteins. It creates consciousnesses. It imposes consciousness on things. And so you got to do that stuff carefully. Procreation is a natural thing. There we go, there we go. I, I mean, I was just waiting for it, right? I mean, you know, um, the resort to nature. Yes, that's always going to work. You know, either God says so or the DNA says so. Those are the only two options 99% of the human race can come up with. You know, God said so or God nature says so, whatever. Mother nature. Yeah. Well, that's just no... It, that doesn't even come close. I mean, just to say the DNA says so. You know how Borg that is? That is just so fucking Borg. I mean, well, now I'm sure you're going to say that this is an argument from nature. Well, yeah, that's what I said. Everything is fucking nature, dude. You're... <laughs> yeah, whatever. You're going to play that game, too. Um, yeah, logic, I argue, is in nature. It's right there to be seen. We can discover the logic. Okay, so we can understand that, uh, you know, 2 minus 1 equals 1. We can do this, these, these kind of basic math, and I'm saying it's right there in front of us. Okay, this equation. All the bits are right there in front of us, in the real world, and it's just our, our choice to discover them. So, so we discover the truth that, okay, these racial differences don't make any meaningful difference. So most people, well, I don't know, whatever, hopefully most people, have figured that out. All right, they've done the math and said, oh yeah, okay, the thing that's important we can dissect and we can figure out what's important. And what's important is the, how these things feel and what their welfare is. And th this is what the life game is. And the life game isn't about how tall you are or you know, how much money you have or any of this other kind of crap. So yeah, we can do all of that. And it's right there in front of us. Uh, you know, it's in the real world, the logic. Argument against birth is na natural. That's coming from genetics, too. Well, I would argue that has nothing to do with genetics, okay? Uh, I mean, really doesn't. Our logic is not genetically controlled. Our, our what we understand, uh, the theory of evolution was um, discovered, uh, not through, you know, it wasn't a genetic thing, okay? It wasn't, it wasn't like Charles Darwin had the right genes to do it. No, he had the right maturation, the right exposure to knowledge, and then he had the right life experience to add it all up. Um, the end. Are you a genetic worshiper, <sighs> dumbass? Well, quite obviously not, and as I've pointed out, I'm not, you know, I have nothing but ridicule for our genetics and nothing but admiration for our capacity to step beyond our genetics understand our functionality, know what a penis is and how we've been manipulated to use it stupidly. Um, yeah, that's intelligence, and I'm all for that. Y your genetics are telling you, are, are in control of your thoughts, no matter what you think, Gary. Well, you want to stay by that theory? You want to stand by that? I think it sounds like nonsense. Don't you know that? Because I'm some sorry, kind of dude, I can... Get away with whatever the, whatever the fuck I want. Well, to. I'm the dude, so I can just say whatever I want. I just say, I just say dude. Because that's what I do. I just say dude. I say dude to you. Yeah, you say stupid things like nature done it. That's what you just did. All the time, don't I? To try to dismiss everything. Yeah, I'll do it. That's how you answer a problem. No one said it'd be fair. <laughs> that's what you do. You do something stupid like that. You don't have the answer? So what's 7 times 6,453 divided by 5?